So for today, we're going to be looking at the new exotics that got introduced in Season of the Plunder, and we're going to be making some sets for them. This is going to be different from the actual individual videos that I've made for each of the exotics. Hopefully, I made the exotic video for the Titans. If I have not, I do apologize, but that video should be coming out. If not, it should have already been out. It's just that, man, let me tell you, Titans, that those arms are disappointing. That's all I'm going to say. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me in my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I say this now because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, subscribe. It very much is appreciated and it actually does help a lot. And you guys have been blowing up the channel. So I really appreciate y'all. But other than that, let's get into it. So this is my hunter. Now, before y'all go crazy, I know this looks really weird. Let me explain my thought process. First and foremost, I already set the helmet for me personally. I just really like it. I like the fact that the like visor, you can't see it's dark as shit, which is why I like it. I also use this helmet for the Scarlet Semblance video, which if you guys haven't seen it, I'll have it up right now. Very much appreciate you guys watching that one because it is probably one of my more favorite sets that I made for the Titans and I'm really proud of it. So definitely check it out. But for the arms and the the hood we're specifically using the lichen grips and the neoteric kiot cloak because i want fur on this fucker i want a lot of fur because for me when i think of vagabond i think they they have fur they have a lot of fur because that's how they will keep themselves warm for the chest piece obviously we're using the new chest piece because it's part of the video idea we're using new exotics from this season and i kind of have to use it dub for the iron forerunner strides it looks it looks like it's ramshackled together so this is like literally my whole idea my whole shtick it's just my hunter became a vagabond over the years the shader situation is actually one of my more favorite pieces of this whole set for two pieces the chest piece and the helmet specifically we're using the ritualism shader which is a really good shader if you can make it work and then for the rest of the stuff we're using gambit steel so we're using gambit steel for the arms because ritualism actually gives the, sh the fur a brown look which is not what i want because i want the fur on the arms to at least look like they're matching the fur on the cloak the other reason why i'm using the, sh the gambit steel for the boots is because i like the fact that the cloth on the on the groin is purple with the other pieces ritualism actually does not turn it um purple it actually turns it green if i remember correctly and then for gambit steel i actually like the purple on the front of the the hood the cloth piece i like the fact that that's purple and the back is actually black compared to if i did ritualism and the shaders looks really weird with it so again i know people are going to think this one's a little weird because to be quite honest it is a little weird but there's a reason to my madness there's a reason to which why i'm using pieces that i am so let me know what you guys think i know this is a little bit weird because this is not usually what i do but i'm trying to like go out, get out of my comfort zone and this is a good way to do it so hunters let me know what you guys think uh everyone else uh let me know what you guys think as for the titans i'm gonna be real with you guys i had no theme to this one it was literally just what pieces do i think look really cool with each other and let's get into it so for the helmet we're using the steeplechase helmet uh specifically because again i think it just looks really cool with this set for the arms obviously we're using the new arms for the chest piece we're using the lichen plate specifically because when i first saw the arms i immediately knew that there's two pieces of chest pieces that i want to combine with the first being the scarlet semblance chest piece that i used in that video and this one i think the lichen plate looks really good with it for the boots we're using the frost strike greaves because i like the fact that the chest piece has kind of like almost like an organic look and i wanted some boots that had at least some sense of that as well and i think the frost strike greaves are really good with that and then the Thorian mark specifically because of the organic uh plate in the waist i think that looks really good with everything else so not not nothing I, I really don't have a lot to explain about this set because i really really like it i like the fact that the chest piece has fur on it but it's all the all in the back same thing with the Thorian mark a lot of it is in the back so a lot of the visual notes that you see on this on this set is everywhere there's nothing that's overpowering like there's not one set that overpowers everything each piece has its moment and i think that's why i like each piece how it is if i were to say 
which piece i would have to switch out i would probably say the helmet i think the helmet's probably the weakest part from this whole set but even then i still like it a lot i like the fact that the the helmet the top part has like this almost horn thing and i think it goes really well with the arms so not not a lot to explain on this one because again i had a clear thought with this one where it was just i want to combine the chest piece with the arms and then from there we'll actually just see where i go from and again this one didn't take me too long because i already knew like in the back of my head like i know i want organic because the chest piece is organic and the helmet probably was the only piece where i kind of like looked at it and i was like it's not bad i actually do like it but i would be lying if i said that this is the best helmet for this set i think there's probably another helmet that's better than it so titans let me know what you guys think uh do you guys like it everyone else let me know what you guys think as well and last but not least we have the warlocks with the fallen sun star this exotic is so fucking cool i literally made i gushed over this exotic in the exotic video that i made for this if you guys haven't seen it check it out i make two sets for that which i shouldn't have done because it was really hard to find this set which i had to i wanted to make a new one for it so let me know what you guys think about it but for the helmet obviously we're using the new one but for the arms we're using the meridian constellation wraps because i like the fact that it's the same color as the celestial robes uh, as you guys can see i love that i think it's really cool and that's literally why i'm using it for the chest piece for the boots we're using the empyrean cartographer boots specifically because i think they look super cool there's no other reason i like the boots and then for the bond raising Nerwin's iron bond. Now this is really cool because I'm using the wicked overgrowth shader. I rarely ever use this shader, if any, and I started using it with a few sets and I think this shader looks amazing. It looks so good. Uh, Warlocks. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really like how pretty much the chest piece has so much gold in it. That it doesn't take away from the fact that the helmet also has gold but it is a lighter tint so just be aware of that and i love the fact that each piece has a color associated to it the arms go really well with the chest piece that specifically the arms uh the helmet looks really good because it, the gold or at least it looks gold to me uh matches really well with the chest piece and the robes as well and then the boots is probably the most forgettable considering it's pretty hidden away but it does have gold and uh, green as well. So it does match the overall theme. And then the bond, I think is the only piece that I think looks kind of like basic, but I didn't want to go too crazy with the mark be, or the bond because I didn't want to have anything super glowy because I don't want it to take away from the helmet, which is the main centerpiece. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me again, links are in the description below. I love making these videos because they're a lot of fun, really challenges me to use new pieces and new shaders which is part of the reason why i stick to wicked overgrowth so yeah let me know what you guys think again if you guys want to see certain things let me know in the comments below i'll definitely try to check it out just be aware that i don't buy ornaments with real money because i i already pay so much money on this game alone that i don't want to waste anymore so be safe and i'll see you guys later